Hello and welcome back to another Warlords of Draenor preview. This time we're going to be having a look at the third boss of the Blackrock Foundry on LFR difficulty. Now this has got quite a lot of stuff going on actually. It's a three phase fight with the first two phases comprising of a whole bunch of adds and then the final phase just involving you single target uh, burning down a boss before it kills you. So in the first phase, your goal is to shut down these two heat regulators. You see, this whole fight involves shutting down this furnace, so obviously the first thing you do is you turn off the regulators, because that's how furnaces work in World of Warcraft. Now, while you're trying to turn these two regulators off, you've got a lot of trash to deal with. You've got this foreman guy who just serves as the mini-boss for the first, uh, sort of phase and a half of the fight. Then you've also got to deal with a whole bunch of smaller ads like the furnace engineers, the bellows operators, who are the big ogron guys that you can see us killing, and then also security guards. So the very first thing that goes on, and you just saw that happen a few seconds ago, is that the furnace will do this pulsing AoE. That deals damage to everyone. No way of getting around that. Something that the healers will have to deal with. But you can also see these bellow operator guys. They pump up the furnace and give it more heat, which is tracked by a bar which you can currently see in the top right of my screen. That heat is very bad, therefore, you want to kill the bellow operator so that it doesn't stack up to the point where your whole raid's just dying and stuff. Because guess what? Dying's pretty bad. Now, once you just, you know, kill all these bellow operators, you've got that part of the fight under control, so you need to start thinking about how the hell do you destroy these two heat regulators. Well, the good news is that one of the ads that's present is um, called a Furnace Engineer. Now, he has got an ability which will throw a bomb on a player, and that bomb will activate a like little extraction bar button thingy-majig, which allows the player to drop the bomb. So, if the Engineer throws a bomb on you, then you just go and you drop the bomb off at the heat regulator, which will eventually cause the heat regulator to be destroyed, thus putting you into the second phase of the fight. Now, mechanics-wise, these ads have got a lot of stuff going on. I'll probably slowly show them to you on the screen because, honestly, it would be so tedious me going through them myself. So, yeah, you just deal with all those abilities. It's the sort of thing that does not matter on LFR difficulty because it's all just sort of homogenized into this soup of health that you have to destroy. Um, there you go, I just got the bomb on me, so I dropped that off at the regulator. And that actually caused us to move into the second phase. Anyway, so phase one, just the TLDR, nuke down the operators kill all the adds, drop off the bombs at the heat regulators, and that'll get you into phase two. Now, in phase two, what you do is you essentially have released this big elemental, and of course, that's not the Iron Horde wants, so they send out a whole bunch of these guys called Primal Elementalists, and they will kind of hold that guy down. So, your objective of phase two is to destroy all the Primal Elementalists so that the big elemental in the middle is free and can be killed by you. You see, they're kind of protecting it as well. This is another ad phase, essentially. So you've got to deal with, of course, the fact that the blast furnace is still blasting you all with an AoE and putting little um, pools of fire in the ground. You've got to deal with that. Then you've got to deal with all the ads that spawn. And those ads are the security guards, which are the, just the same from last time. You've got the slag elementals, who have got a few various abilities, which will actually deal quite a bit of damage to you. So you need to watch out for that, especially if you're the player that gets fixated. And of course, they do have a nuke, which is interruptible, so that's something that skilled players will be able to do. Um, well, on LFR, I'd imagine that on heroic mode, you will have to interrupt that. There's also fire callers, who are just adds that get spawned from time to time. They do a heal and a nuke, which is fine. And then, of course, there's the elementalists themselves, who just sit around keeping the big elemental in the middle all happy and, and cozy. So, really, there's not a lot to talk about here. What ends up happening in LFR is all those adds just get stacked up. And while they're stacked up, you burn them down, but mainly you nuke down those elementalists so that you can move on to the final phase. Um, really, I would have to do this fight on Heroic to really see the depth in every single ad, so there's really just no point in me speculating as to the amount of depth this phase has. What I can say is that it's fine, it's fun enough, and uh, yeah, just kill all those guys and we will move on to the next phase. Alright then, so I've just uh, skipped my way ahead to the next phase, which is the final phase of the fight. The Heart of the Mountain guy is completely freed, and of course you gotta kill him. So he's just got a few abilities. He continues doing the big blast that we've been dealing with throughout the fight, and then he also continues to put the little void zones on the floor. So that stuff really is is just as much as, as ever. He's also got two abilities, though, that concern the tank. They're called Tempered and Heat. Now these have got an interesting enough interaction. Heat will do damage which is increased by the amount of stacks of tempered that's on the tank. 
and tempered stacks will increase based on the heat that is applied to you. So essentially, the two tanks will have to ensure that they rise in their amount of temperedness and basically in a similar manner. So if you've got one tank that's got a whole bunch of tempered and then another tank which doesn't have too much, then it's going to be unbalanced. So what, what is going to happen though is that there's no way to drop off tempered from what I can tell. And this means that essentially this is a burn phase. You need to kill the boss before the boss kills your tanks and then wipes your group. So that's what's going on. The tanks need to survive that. The healers need to make sure the tanks survive that. And the DPS just need to pew 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 their merry little hearts out. And that's it for the fight. I know this is a bit less detailed than my usual LFR boss previews, or just boss previews in general, but there's a lot kind of going on here because of the ads, and I just thought it would be more worthwhile if I told you roughly what was going on. So to summarize, in phase one, you kill the ads, and you use the bombs to destroy the heat regulators. In phase two, you kill even more ads, and then you kill the special ads that are holding in the elemental. And then in phase three, you kill the elemental. That's essentially how the fight goes, and honestly, I think that it's quite fun. I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out on a higher difficulty, where the mechanics of each individual ad will shine more, because on LFR, as I said earlier, it just sort of turns into this big soup of nothingness that you multi-shot, and that's about it. So yeah, fun enough fight. But anyway, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, let me know what you thought about it, and I'll see you next time.